Hey guys, Blazy here and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about what you need to know about fursuits. So let's get started shall we? Number one, they get hot. Oh boy do these things get hot. Even, even just wearing it as a partial, they can get hot and it's not nice. And it's not like after an hour you'll start to get hot. No, I mean like when you start putting it on. When you like, if you're wearing a full suit and you start zipping it up, you will probably already be hot and be bleh already by then. Yeah, yeah, it happens. <laughs> and it's not just me. I've known other people who like when I'm like first suit of other people and I started putting on their full, full suit. But like when they just got the body on, they're already like, oh gosh, why am I doing this? <laughs> And that is the question every furry asks, why do we do this? Ah, I get so hot. <laughs> they are quite sealed up, so it does hold the heat inside, so do keep that in mind. They get hot. Number two, you should be sweating. This may seem odd, but think about it. If you're not sweating, then you don't have enough water in you, meaning you'll get headaches faster and do a pass out in fursuit. So sweating is a good sign that you're hydrated. If you're not sweating, it means you're dehydrated, which is not good. Speaking of which, number three, food and water is a must. Make sure you get some food in you before suiting. You don't want to be suiting on an empty stomach. Trust me, you'll feel pretty blah. For the same time, don't eat too much and then go running around. That might not end well. Blah. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Also make sure you have had plenty to drink. Like I said, if you're not sweating, it's because you're dehydrated and you need to be sweating. So make sure you're drinking water or something at least. Which brings me to my next point. Number four, handlers. A handler is someone who can be your eyes for you. They can see who is coming at you for all the different sides. Telling you when to expect someone or to let you know you're getting a photo taken. They can also hold food and water for you, and straws for bottles and such, if your muscle can't open enough. Plus they can take photos for you, which is always amazing, it's always great to get photos. Um, so having a handler for you, with you is like the best way to do so. For a first, for a first time first suitor, it's, a be it's best to have a handler with you so they can be your eyes. Since it can be hard to see in these things, especially when you only got one eye to see out of like myself yay I'm smart <laughs> number five be mindful of where you are by that I mean know your location know your surroundings for example you cannot realize there are some stairs near you and you go tumbling down them all the way until your neck is broken we wouldn't want that now as much as a cute fairy firstly tumbling down some stairs sound number six they can whip. They are just made of fur and stitching in the end, and these stitches can be undone, whipped, torn, and so on. So always check for damage, and so we go to my next point. This is number seven. Look for damage. Anytime after wearing a shoe, just take a quick look over it to make sure none of the seams or stitching has been whipped or coming apart. Or perhaps some fur might be missing, or you might have some stains on it from someone gross hugging you or spilling something on you without you even noticing. You never know until you give it a look, so do keep that in mind. Always look for damage after wearing and even before you, you put it on. Number eight, clean your fursuit. I went over this in one of my previous videos, so just go watch that a bit more to get understanding. We'll do, we'll do a simple one down here. There are different ways to go about it. You can soak it into a bathtub, get a wet cloth and wash over your face. I know some people will wash their body and pores in a washing machine. I would generally ask your maker how to go about it. But in short, your suit will stink if you don't wash it now and then. If you had a con, buy yourself some fursuit spray and just, you know, give your suit a few sprays on the inside of it. Um, you don't want to be careful of your eyes. You don't, if they're painted on and such, or if you've got painted on markings and such, or airbrush markings, um, yeah, you want to be very careful about them. Also, get yourself like a soft brush and just softly go over it, you don't want to whip your fur out because for obvious reasons, it does not go back. Number nine, you want the best, then prepare to pay a lot. Fursuits, fursuits are very expensive for the most part. If you want the top quality, you will be paying a lot of money from the top fursuit makers around. 
Especially if you have a copycat design for obvious reasons. I mean, you may get lucky, there may be makers around, around you that are cheaper but, have, but still have an amazing quality to them. Or you may just find one somewhere, and, that, and that's great. You know, you might get lucky with a cheaper make, maker, but still good quality, that's fine. Um, but just keep in mind, they can be very expensive if you are looking for like really, really good quality. Um, but again, you might get lucky. But that does bring me to my next point, which is number 10. Be wary of who you buy from. This is just more of a warning than anything. Some makers are known for taking a few years to make a fursuit, which is ridiculous. Others are known for just taking your money and never updating you or just not doing a very good job. So in short, know who you're buying from just in case. I hate he hearing about people who get screwed over by makers. So that's it for today's video guys. I'll probably add to this list later. Uh, we're doing like a part two, I guess. Um, Hope, hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any um, other little suggestions for me uh, to, for videos or what you would like to know about fursuits and so on and so forth, uh, leave a comment in the comment section, obviously. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I would love you if you do. Alright guys, bye for now.